Hello, it is Sat. No, not Saturday. I'm a little bit sleepy. It is Friday, December 24th, Christmas Eve. Hi, how are you? I'm very tired. Um, we went and saw No Way Home yesterday. Um, God, I was like, I was putting on hand sanitizer like every other minute. It, well, but the time that we went, like, 10 10 um, it wasn't that bad it wasn't that crowded we had a whole row to ourselves and the row in front of us and the row behind us was um fairly empty i think the second row behind us there was someone that was like diagonal from us a bit back but other than that it was pretty good um <clears throat> so i will keep an eye on my health and my husband's health for that um but what was I gonna say? Um, it was really good, by the way. Very good, maybe. But we got back at 1 a.m. We got back home at 1 a.m. Um, and immediately I did laundry. If you can hear that in the background, that's more laundry because I want my jacket and I want my socks and I want my pants from the from the clothes. <laughs> I want them. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm just doing that. Um, I got a couple things to do this morning. Um, got, I'm doing the laundry, I got dishes to do, I got a pack, um, I got a shower again, um, stuff in our home, and then we are on our way up. Um, but yeah, fairly light day, just a big travel day, uh, probably gonna vlog going up there, um, and try to get some reading them, maybe take a nap. I think that's what I need is an app. Um, but yeah, so today we are starting with um, You've Reached Sam. I am 12% in. I'm going to try to get to 30. Actually, it's like a fairly quick. I'll probably be able to get to like 40, maybe 50. I don't know. We'll see where we are. Um, and then on the car ride home, I'm going to try to finish Luck of the Titanic. Um, and I'm going to pre-film opening that last gift. So that way um, I can unbox it in the car, but not have to actually bring the damn box with me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where we are. So catch you guys up in a bit.
dying since Christmas. <laughs> so, um, this year me and my husband did like that little five thing, five favorite things thing. Um, except I modified it for Christmas. So, like I saw it on TikTok and I know a couple kids would do it for Christmas. But basically, there's five things, five criteria that you have to use to get presents for each other. The first one was pajamas that we're going to wear. And because I want to shower, because <laughs> we just got done with a long road trip and these, these little pupples. Look how cute they are. They shed all over me. Um, I'm going to shower, so we're going to go ahead and exchange presents now. Just doing our number ones. Yeah, just the number ones. So here's mine to Ethan. And here's Ethan to mine. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we changed into pajamas. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was, I don't know if I'll have a thing up in the on the screen Put but in the description or something but what was number one a pair of pjs that you can wear for the whole day cool for christmas so we wear these for the whole day so what is number two an item they would use on christmas all right so here's mine and here's mine did i really say that was number two? Oh, okay yeah that's not the thing i thought it was okay we're we doing this together yep all right Oh no, you taped mine so much. <laughs> Payback. Such a butt. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, face mask. He knows that I like these <laughs> and that I need, probably need to um, relax. Rising. Yep, the board game. Yeah. I didn't know they made one. I didn't either. Yeah. Right. Tell you a story later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number three. Number what is number three? three? Number three is um, an item they would use after Christmas. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so I have one of these puppies <laughs> that's a burrito. This one's a ketchup bottle. Yeah. He goes on my, uh, my bookcase and he motivates me to do better. Let's see here, what's your ingredients? Adorable, cute, squishy ketchup, 0%, and, and any rolls. <laughs> I love it. I got a, a case for my Switch. So yes. we can travel. Yes. Nice. That way you don't have to put it in the plastic bags and wrap it with napkins. Well, you've never done that before when you traveled with your consoles? <laughs> yes, and it's scary. So no, you're it's not doing fine. that anymore. Yeah. All right, and number four. Number four is an item no wait a uh, favorite snack they can eat on christmas yeah uh good luck with that <laughs> oh no oh <laughs> oh oh my god it's a one pound <laughs> bar of hershey's chocolate Yes. My no Reese's. All right. I'm going to be eating something and, oh, I think I made it in. And doing a face mask tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. forgot to pop this. And then the fifth one is an item for the both of us to enjoy for Christmas. Okay. All right. What are we enjoying together according to you? The Haunted Mansion! Yeah. Haunted Mansion board game! And we're enjoying ooh, a Nightmare Before Christmas throw. Yep. Yeah, we're going to bundle up. And it's a uh, tarot card themed, so oh. it says the lovers at the bottom. Oh, I like that. Nice. Right. So that is uh, the Five Thanks Christmas edition that I came up with on a whim. Um, I'll list it below in case you want to do it next christmas or whenever <laughs> i mean it's just like and i'll link like um where i got the idea but basically it's just five things five favorite things five something just modify it for whatever you have hanukkah kwanzaa birthdays easter date night. I, yeah whatever i saw a lot of people do date night actually it was kind of cute all right so i'm gonna open presents and i'll show you guys later all right so here is the full blanket it looks so cool. So I got that at Spencer's if you want to see it. I think it was like, I think it was just like 20 bucks. 
bucks. It wasn't that expensive. Um, but basically, I don't like to brag about what I got. I'm very fortunate, um, and a lot of people are not. So I'm not going to show off everything that I got. But I wanted to show off the books because this is a reading vlog. So I got The Woman with the Blue Star by Pan Jelf. Um, I've read this. I had an ebook copy, and I really wanted a physical copy because it was that good. Um, basically, this book is about... Um, this group of Jewish people who are having to hide in the sewer system um, to escape um, the deaf trains and stuff like that. Um, and there's a lady that notices them one day and decides to help them out. It's a super good book. I highly recommend it. The uh, next book that I got is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Um, this one um, is basically Raylo fanfic, and I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain this to you, but basically Raylo fanfic. Um, our Ray is a PhD candidate named Olive, and our um, uh, Kylo is Adam, who is the hotshot uh, professor. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to get into romance books, and I saw these at Barnes and Noble, and I convinced my husband to buy it because he is not a fan of Raylo, and neither is my friend uh, Michael. I am going to kid them a lot about it. <laughs> and then the last one I got is The Charm Offensive by Allison um, Cochran. Um, basically, um, it's about this guy who is a contestant on what is basically like The Bachelor. Um, but this guy over here who is one of the tech crew uh, starts to fall for him. They start to fall for each other. It sounds so good. I've heard nothing but good things about it, so I can't wait to read it. Um, but yeah, that is it. I'm going to put up Christmas, um, so far today. Um, I woke up this morning and I was in so much pain because the couch I was sleeping on was, um, uh, was comfy, but the position I was sleeping was not. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Um, but I woke up and me and the husband, uh, did a dog walk, a 30 minute dog walk, um, with Sophia Daisy and my parents' dog, Puppy, um, who's not really a puppy anymore. He's like six or seven years old by this point. He's pretty old. Um, but we did that instead of like my regular cardio routine because obviously I didn't have access to my treadmills and it helps me to work out in the morning to get um, focused for the rest of the day. Helps set my rest of the day. I've done the chores and I've already pick, uh, picked up one round of Christmas stuff and now for round two. I've not read today. Um, I read a little bit of my book yesterday. I didn't get that far into it, of The Luck, the luck of the Titanic. And I'm still in, um, You've Reached Sam. I'm 30-something percent into it. Um, but today's a relaxation day. I don't plan to do much. I have a couple games, board games I want to play, a couple movies I want to watch. So I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. But I'm at least going to get 30 minutes into those. So maybe at the end of the night. But yeah, catch you guys up in a bit. Hi guys, it is December 26th. Um, it's 5.31 in the afternoon. Um, <laughs> I am so tired today. So I don't know if it's because of the long driving that we've done uh, Friday and Saturday or staying up late or whatnot, but I am so dead. Um, we had Christmas with my husband's family. Um, it went pretty good. Um, I got the book from, uh, J.K. Rowling, uh, The Christmas Pig, and I'm trying to decide, do I burn it, or do I shred it, or do I toss it in the trash? One of those three is going to happen to it, because we do not do transphobia in this house, and I also informed my mother-in-law more, more sweetly than what I'm informing you, um, about the issues with her <clears throat> and that I could get her better recommendations next time so yeah that was it um but I've got um lots of chores to do today I've got a little project set aside to go through some of our reusable bags um there was like 10 million in my husband's car that we pulled out when we were cleaning out the car um and I've got Instagram work to do today. I've got computer work to do today. I've got reading to do today. And I don't have a lot of time for it. So get the chore or get the workout done, get the chores done. Um, inter internet work, compu computer work, social media work, whatever work. Um, and then finish off the day reading. So that could be a very big reading day for me. I read a little bit yesterday. Um, 
I didn't get that far. So like when I don't feel like reading it, I just, I stay on the percent that I'm on. It's, I know it's bad. Like you don't have to tell, tell me, but, um, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so I know that's bad of me to do, but honestly to stay in the race for the $75 book buying stuff, I need to like read at least one page in 30 minutes so but i'm going to kill it today i'm going to kill it tomorrow i'm going to get back on track because i don't have to travel anywhere for a good amount of time so there's that um but yeah we are moving and grooving um and yeah so i will catch you guys up in a bit hi guys it is december 27th it's 7 57 in the morning i woke up actually at 4 30 I turned off my alarms and actually woke up at 6 30 and I've been laying in bed since because my throat hurts a little so then I went into the spiral of oh my god I got Omicron which like there's a chance I might but I have no other symptoms and also like I haven't been taking my allergy medicine and my regular medicine at the regular time and this is what happens when I don't. I was also previously like, um, before I went on vacation, I had um, some sinus infection stuff. I usually get a sinus infection this time of year. So I'm going with sinus infection or sinus allergy issues um, because I literally have no other symptoms. It's like, I'm tired. I'm always tired in the morning. Runny nose? No, I've not. I've not had that in like months. <laughs> it doesn't even like. <clears throat> it's like I'm coughing a lot. I'm because I'm draining, but um, like I swallow. It doesn't really hurt to swallow. Like I've had, I have had sore throats where like it feels like I'm swallowing lava every time that I swallow. Um, but this, it's, it's just, it's like right down here that it hurts. I think it's fine. <laughs> I'm still, um, like, I'm not leaving the house at least for a week just to make sure. Um, because my parents were a little sick that they failed to tell us until we got up there and we're eating. They're like, oh yeah, we had the test for COVID. We don't think we have it. We did an at-home test. And this is not to like... <clears throat> this is not to um say that at home tests are crap um they're okay they're great as long as you're um using them properly but i don't know if they know how to use it properly because my mother is not one to read directions very well <sighs> so yeah there's that but i think it's fine um i'm very prone to allergies and sinus infections before I was um oops, phone going off before I started um taking an allergy pill daily um I would get sinus infections about four times a year if not more um it was pretty bad <laughs> oh yeah so I'm very prone to them um what, what am I allergic to? Life. Life. So, anyways. Um, still on You've Reached Sam. Still on Look at the Titanic. I didn't read much yesterday. Because I was so tired and so busy. Again, not Omicron tired. Because I rested on the couch for like 10 minutes and I was fine. Um, it's like, I had a lot of stuff to do and I'm an introvert and, um, being around a lot of people stresses me the F out. So, <laughs> I took a 10 minute break yesterday. Um, and also, you know, like driving like three hours, like sucks. Like it wears you out and having to deal with two dogs that are also having their own kind of anxious issues also sucks so there was that it's just a lot so i took a break um other than that like i went to bed early because 
I was tired, but husband was also tired. You know, it's just been, it's just been a weekend. So, I don't think I have Omicron, just because I'm not showing any other symptoms. But again, I'm quarantined for a week. I was planning to already quarantine because Tennessee is awful right now. I don't know what the hell happened to it after I left, but it's, it's just got awful now. Um, so, I'm going to work out. I'm going to, let's see here, how far am I into this? I'm 192 out of 304 pages of You've Reached Sam. Um, it's good. It just keeps repeating the same stuff. Like, yes, I know she's grieving. What What's the plot here? Um, but it's a, it's okay. It's an okay book. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to try to finish some books because I was supposed to already be on the January TBR starting today. But again, stressful weekend. So I'm going to take it at least um, until Wednesday. And then I'm just going to skip ahead to them if I'm not. Um, but yeah, that is the update for today. So catch you guys up in a bit. Hey guys, it is the 28th of December. It is 6.58 p.m. Um, I did not feel good this morning. Um, my throat was hurting. Actually, it stopped hurting when I actually, like, woke up, woke up around, um, noon. Um, I just so low energy, so I don't know what's going on. I'm still pretty sure it's not COVID, um, but still quarantine. So, I finished, uh, You've Reached Sam yesterday, and I have five books left on my December TBR to finish. So I'm going to be spending the next couple days doing that, and then I'm going to jump into January. I'm still okay, but it's crunch time, so I need to go. So the five books I need to finish are, let me pull it up, <clears throat> Look at the Titanic. I've been slow crawling through that one. I need to pick it up and go. Um, only Ashes Remain. I need to get into that and finish it because, um, I think Rachel is wanting to talk about it. Um, Within These Wicked Walls. Um, it's been on my TBR. I'm getting it done this month. And Star Mother, which was an arc sent to me a couple months ago. And no more pushing arcs back. We're, we're gonna go through it. And that one's, like, super short, so. Um, I think I can, I think I can do it. I think I can, I think I can. But I can, I can do it. I can definitely do it. Um... But yeah, other than that, we're just doing a late night workout. I'm going to do a small one because uh, I'm still recovering. And then tomorrow we're going to be down here. 5, 5.30, I'm w planning on waking up. Be down here probably 6, 6 a.m. at least. Working out and getting, getting back on track. So, catch you guys up in a bit. Hey guys, it is December 29th. It's 6.17 in the morning. I've been up since 5.10. Um... I've had a lot of drainage last night. I don't know, disgusting, but welcome to my vlog. So, um, but throat is like, <clears throat> not that sore. It's mostly my tonsils. It's really weird. Um, yeah, the tonsils are an issue. They're a little hurty. Um, I gargled with some salt water. Um, my husband put the salt on the top cabinet shelf and I can't reach it. And he didn't keep a lot in the salt shakers. So it's like, what a bitch. What a bitch. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, so I am continuing. You'll be the death of me. I'm going to try to hit 50% um, for this reading sprint while also doing a workout. Um, I got to take Daisy to the vet today because she might have an eye infection. I don't think she does. I think it's just discharge, but we're going to check her eyes out anyways. Um, wearing my mask the whole time, but uh, I like I can't help it. My dog's health is at risk, so do what I gotta do. Also, the light is flashing. No. Um, and I finished Luck of the Titanic last night. I'm gonna be starting on Only Ashes Within, or Only Ashes Remain today. So, catch you guys up in a bit. Hi. It is 10, 12. I don't feel good. <laughs> There's a lot of drainage happening. It sucks. So, I'm staying on the couch tonight to let gravity take hold of my mucus. And I'm gonna read. I'm on Only Ashes Remain. I think I'm 35 pages in, but I 
got about two hours until I'm probably conk out, so I try to finish a good chunk of it. Um, and then after that, I just got the three more within these wicker walls, Star Mother, and you'll be the death of me. It's getting close, but I think I can do it. Hey guys, it is the 31st. It's the last day of the vlog. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I forgot. <laughs> Hi, honey. I got water. Um, it is 4.52. No, we are not doing incline 10, you dumb thing. Um, I spent the morning doing end of the monthlies, which means I go through all of my saves. I pre-sort as much stuff as I can do at the beginning of the month. So that way I don't have as much to do during the month. It took me from like 8 a.m. to just now, so oops. Um, but I got chores to do after this and then I can relax, watch Twilight Zone, pig out and eat and, and read. Um, I finished, I finished, you'll be the death of me yesterday and I finished, it's on the tip of my tongue. What did I finish? Mm -hmm. Oh, my mouth. Oh, only ashes remain. So, Rachel, that's book two. I'm going to get book three. Just give me a bit. Um, I'm not even sure if you've read book two. Have you read book two, Rachel? I don't even know if you're watching this video. Anyways, um, so for ebooks, I am in January. We're doing okay. <laughs> I'm on the chosen one. For physical books, I had two more until January. Um, I am okay with putting those, with going into January with them, but I would really, really like to finish them today to start January off with the Kindred. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll see. It's whatever. Um, I also got to do, I'm going to make a note, I got to do my uh, Goodreads wrap up today before I'm not able to find that thing anymore because after a bit, I'm not able to find it anymore. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to work out. We're going to do chores. We're going to read. We're going to relax. We're going to celebrate the New Year's. And that's it. So maybe I will get back with you before the day is up. But if not, have a happy New Year. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.